Commissioner Dennis Olds of the 4th Ward in the city of Benton Harbor. What I want to say is that democracy, and I got agreed through corporate finagling, is being stricken. Yep. Right now we have recalls and wording that's to be approved on Rick uh, Al Pashoka come Monday. I, I, I did not, now I'm going to show you how corporations work, and then I'm going to read a resolution that we passed as a body on Monday uh, that caused backlash from the dictator, Joseph L. Harris, from the state of Michigan. Read it out. All right, read it. Yeah. First of all, I'll say this, that the attorneys for Al Pashoka sent me a FedEx letter, sent Judge uh, Alfred Buttsbaugh, mm. Louis Stein of the county clerk, who's the voter uh, uh, over voter election, and another judge to who will be reading the clarity of the wording that was posed on Al Pasoka's recall. Yeah. It was a conflict of interest. It's called manipulation. Yeah. Yeah. I got my letter yesterday along with these same judges, and you know and I know that the wording was put out in the newspaper the day after the wording was presented. Never has happened in the history of Benton Harbor that wording will be put out from the clarity hearing or elections office about a recall until either it failed or passed. Uh -huh. I'm just letting you know and be cognizant that corporate dollars yeah. have fed these criminals' pockets yeah. to do you and me in in democracy. Right. Now I'm going to read this resolution that we spoke on and in brief on Monday we passed and now being told that we had no authority to pass a resolution. This is not a financial bearer. Harris came in here to balance the budget, yep. so he said. He immediately went to bed with the corporation. Yeah. We saw. Yeah. Whereas the city of Benton Harbor declares the appointment of an emergency manager a violation of Article 1, Section 1 of the Michigan State Constitution, which states that all political power is inherent in the people and that government is instituted for, the equal, for their equal benefit, security, and protection. Whereas the city of Benton Harbor declares the appointment of an emergency manager, a violation of Article 1, Section 3, which allows the citizens of Benton Harbor the right to petition the government for redress of grievances. Whereas the city of Benton Harbor declares the appointment of an emergency manager, a violation of Article 7, Section 22, which affords Benton Harbor citizens the power and authority to frame adopt and amend its charter and to amend an existing charter of the city or village heretofore granted or enacted by the legislature for the government of the city or village. Each such city and village shall have power to adopt resolutions and ordinances relating to its municipal concerns, property and government subject to the constitution and law. Whereas the city of Benton Harbor declares the appointment of the emergency manager a violation of article 7 Section 34, which states that the provisions of this Constitution and law concerning counties, townships, cities, and villages shall be liberally construed in their favor. Whereas the City of Benton Harbor declares the appointment of an emergency manager a violation of Article 9, Section 2, which provides the citizens of Benton Harbor the right of taxation with representation. Therefore, be it resolved, the appointment of an emergency manager is in direct violation of the Michigan Constitution and therefore demands the removal of said emergency manager immediately. Now when we pass when we pass this in the Herald Palladium the very next day, and I hope you're here, it was so stated because they take what the Palladiums, uh, they'll take what the South give them. That's right. And I'm speaking of Joe Harris or any other crony uh -huh. to a corporation and to Dick Snyder or Rick Snyder. <laughs> whatever his name is, uh, that he has the power now to lock us out of City Hall. He has the power now to take away our email. So is that not diminishment of democracy? Is that not diminishment of your government? Is that not diminishment of your rights? And then I'll say all power, all power to the people. Take the stand. Don't die. Take the stand. Some will die because we don't really acknowledge the power that we have. Right, but today, right. I'm willing 
Give me liberty or give me death. Bow to the people.